Hi there guys, part two of the birth birthday loot and uh, chicken is here to greet you. Okay, well this, this is not going to work properly. Is this going to work properly? Okay, so I got this from the UK. Let's, let me open this up. And it's a boxed system and it's been packaged really well, but I don't want to damage I don't want to damage it oh, oh cool they they actually used uh, they used uh, another box to protect it it seems like a very very nice package system wow they really wrapped it well, as you can see, multiple layers of, of uh, bubble wrap and using carton on top and the bottom. Let me see if I can whoops, zoom in, zoom out, look, zoom out, like so. Get rid of these. Of course, I must thank <laughs> Mark, Mark, aka UK Retro Games, for this. He found it, and it's actually an American, unboxed American system. Which I totally love, as I did need anti compatibility for some of my games as well and you might may be able to see it from the you may be able to see it from the uh, from the box but this is actually a boxed Commodore 128 whoops it really looks very nice so it used to cost 279.97. That's where it went for. Let me see if I can open up the box. Wow. So this really has been packaged very well. Ah. Well, I've seen this brand before. It's a scarf lead. And a dust cover. And a huge power break. It's the NTSC power break. Uh, so I need to have an adapter for that. Uh, a power, what is it? A power base converter. Uh, power base converter, a power adapter, which I have. So huge power break. Disc, a tutorial disc and a CPM disc version. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! This this system isn't yellowed at all. And it's heavy and it's big and it's lovely. It hasn't yellowed at all. And the keys are really nice, so someone really took care of their machine. And this is the NTC version, so uh, yeah, I just desperately want to hook it up and uh, see how it works. Yeah, alrighty, with the dust with the dust cover, dust cover. So yeah, let's go hook it up and see how it uh, how it functions. So. This is the original pricing. Expandable up to 512k. The side of the box. 
So it basically shares a lot of the same, it shares a lot of the same uh, uh, video outs. But this, this is a very, very different version, the RGBI port. So it must be some sort of VGA-like uh, output signal. Uh, composite video, basically similar to the Commodore 64. The serial port, tape port, the expansion port, user port, games port, game port, reset switch, building, power switch, and the power connector. The, uh, the back shows the peripherals. This is a 1902 monitor that uh, allowed both the 80 columns and 40 columns. This is something that I'm still in the market for, a 1571 uh, disk drive uh, modem uh, mouse. Uh, so this basically was the complete setup. And uh, yeah, this is the box. So let's go see how I hooked it up. I hooked it up. <laughs> this is actually my power base converter with a whole... <laughs> Uh, whole road, a uh, whole uh, shitload of uh, of uh, well, plugs and converter things, and this is a huge power brick. So this is the pristine-looking Commodore 128, and the only thing that I can find wrong with it is actually that this label kind of comes off a little. But if you press it down, so yeah, let's let's see what happens when I turn it on. And there we have it. God, the uh, Commodore 60, uh, the Commodore 128 Basic, and as you can see, with a lot of these uh, NTSC models, there's uh, a lower border because the uh, uh, NTSC signal uh, carries less less pictures. And the, the thing is, what I remember is if you go go 64, it says, "Are you sure?" And then something magical appears. It goes into counter 64 mode <laughs> isn't that amazing so this is actually the first time uh, I've, I've I've actually used a Commodore 64 uh, NTSC model and uh, the keys are just amazing the system looks very clean uh, very good eBay the eBay seller and uh, yeah I must say I'm just totally amazed by this uh, by this system Oh yeah, and I'm running games on it, and it also works with this uh, storage thing. So yeah, and this is actually quite a good uh, Counter 64 soundtrack. I need to source me some down some uh, Counter six, Counter 128 software. Because there are some Commodore 128 uh, specialized games out there. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, with the PAL release running on the NTSC system, there may be some, some graphical, small graphical errors. But if it's programmed correctly, it'll just function. But games do run a bit faster on it, and there are some scrolling issues. Uh, so it would be very fun to see which games do run without any problems and which games do. Error correction uh, does seem to work with this game, so yeah, let me play this.